Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for coming back and watching. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Today I'll be sharing with you how I did this look. Starring Jaclyn Hill's eyeshadow palette volume two. So excited I finally got my hands on this sucker because I have been dying. These colors are to die for. Did I say to die for? To die for. And then I'm also using a bunch of um, like new cosmetic uh, products that I just got over the weekend um, and sharing with you how I like them thus far. Um, so stay tuned, continue watching if you uh, wanna see how I did this look. So I'm gonna use this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer to prime my face, and I'm also gonna use this for my eyelids. So I can prime my eyelids. The sucker's primed. And just get that in there. I've used this before on my eyelids. Oh my god, yes. If you have these annoying lines that you get from smiling, like put this in here and I haven't been using it for a while but like I need to go back to using it because ever since I started using um, Huda's uh, foundation which is like my new fave but for some reason this likes to fucking fall right into my creases and those creases in particular so ain't nobody got time for that okay um, next I'm gonna go in with my MAC soft okra a uh, pink pot and I'm gonna put this all over my eyes. I'm just grabbing one of my Sigma brushes And get that all over my eyes so we can get these suckers nice and um, Primed out and and blanked out so it's a nice empty canvas ready for us to lay that eyeshadow out Honestly, I'm so excited. Like, I think I'm gonna put like all the colors on my eye because I don't know. I like have been looking at it and I'm like, I don't know what color to choose. I want all of them on me. <laughs> like, to die. So, I guess we'll start off with the transition shade for our crease. And I'm gonna go in with Perfectionist. This one right here. So, just use like a blending brush so you can get that transition color in there but can y'all believe like everything that's going on with that whole like coronavirus thing like that's crazy okay so yeah this like transition shade kind of just like helps like all your other colors like just blend up out Mm, I love this song. Bad Bunny does it to me. So next I'm going to get the color My Man. And get a flat brush. I honestly don't know what I'm going for today. I'm going to say that like a thousand times throughout this vid. I'm just going to place that sucker right here. Whatever I do, hopefully it comes out good. Yeah, so anyways, back to what I was saying, that whole like corona thing, like that's crazy. And supposedly they're still wanting to continue with South by Southwest and it's like, but why though? Like, it's crazy how some people don't take it serious and it needs to be taken serious because it's one of those things where you're like, oh, that'll never happen to me or it'll never be here. And then when it you know, does happen to you, you're like, damn, I never would have thought that would have happened to me. And it's like, you know, I think they should just like postpone it because can you imagine like it's not just locals, like it's people traveling from all over the country, the world essentially, and they're coming into one hot humidity sticky fucking place called Austin, Texas. <sighs> it's not even all that. That's for another video, my opinions on Austin. Born and raised though. Um, yeah, like everybody's gonna be here sweaty, drunk, the immune system's gonna be lowered, and just like coughing and sneezing and 
bodily fluids all over each other. Can you imagine? That's like, it's gonna be like a breeding ground for goddamn Corona. Mm. So I'm gonna go in with my Sigma Blending E25 brush. And I'm gonna grab the color Heart On. Ow! Oh, I got black on me. And that's this color right here. These colors are so vibrant, like I gotta tell you. I'm so excited. Um, so we're just gonna grab a little bit of that. Dust it off. Um, what should we do? I guess just place the sucker right here. Let's bring it up. Let's be extra today. Ooh, I used this brush on a black color. You could totally see the black payoff coming off. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Yeah, you can totally see the black payoff coming off great. Just fucking up my whole look. I should have cleaned the brushes, but I didn't. We're just gonna bring this out here and we're gonna go back in with that blending brush that I use for my transition shade and start blending away. Oh, I'm like in love with this. You go girl Jacqueline, like she did her thing. I've been watching her since like my ugly ass was like 19 and didn't even know what makeup was and um yeah i love her like i used to be a stay-at-home wife so literally all i would do it would just like watch her okay we got that going for us before we blend i'm gonna go back in my flat brush and get some more of my man let me place that on here. I want this to stay bright and orange. Okay. I'm gonna stay like that, don't get scared. I'm gonna go in with my lip brush. We'll use my Morphe M504 brush. Just go in there and start blending away. Go in with G Money just to um, kind of like give me some definition right here in this crease. You know, so it's not just like orange and red, it's like some kind of definition going. It's right there in the crease, that's it. So I'm gonna go back in with my transition shade, Perfectionist, and uh, blend a little bit more. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it out here. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it out here. And then after I like lay my foundation and beat my face, um, we'll do the same thing for under here. And with certified, we'll keep it matte. <sighs> right here. some kind of like glitter shade for my inner corners. I don't know if I'm feeling that today. Let me think. I guess we'll see once we're done laying everything in. Okay, so I already moisturized my face. Um, let me go ahead and put some more of that Smashbox photo finish. Because I have been like using a makeup wipe to take off my makeup at night, right? And um, I've been like 
getting lazy and not washing my face. So when I wake up, I've been having like <sighs> troubles in my face. And so like if I don't use a primer now, it's bad business. It's real. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty foundation and this is in the color shortbread. I love this foundation. It's literally like my new favorite. For the longest time I was using the True Match. Um, but, and if it wasn't that, then I was using like that, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Tarte foundation, shape tape, like the shape tape concealer, but the shape tape foundation, um, until like I stumbled upon this gem and I seriously love it. Like love it. ever like start blending your face out like I think I said this last time when your arm literally starts to get tired it's like a whole workout kind of moment and you're like <sighs> yeah girl beat that foundation and says <sighs> I get really like dry in the in some areas oily in others like i can't just like go half ass when it comes to laying down this foundation i need to like stick it in my skin so it doesn't move at all throughout the day and i make a lot of facial expressions so like when i'm like ew like i'll start all my foundation will start creasing up here and that's why i gotta make sure it gets in there Okay. okay, so I'm gonna go in and use my Jeffree Star Concealer, and this is in C4. <laughs> this is my second time using this, I just bought it. So, um, honestly, I think I love it, and I swear to you, I have swore up and down and prayed to the Holy Lord that I would never ever cheat on my concealer. Like it's shape tape concealer for life, right? And um no one ever begins, please. But until I'm sorry, Jeffree Star did something to me. And there's no going back. I'm in love with this concealer. I love to look like white out is on my face. Okay, and he gives me that option. A lot of concealers, like, because my skin is so white and milky, it's like my concealer just blends in with it. So I have to use, like, a lot of, like, white powder. Um, but he, like, came up with this formula that not only is not drying to my dry-ass skin, it literally is the color that I want, the consistency that I want. Oh, my God. It gives me the chills up my spine just talking about his concealer. And it's 22, I want to say I paid $22 for it. It's literally no more than, than, you know, 20 something. So very affordable. Oh, hell no, I took too much off. I guess we'll just do like a high wing kind of look. See, this is what happens when you sit here and you try to talk while doing your makeup. Oh, okay, not bad. Never mind, I fixed it. Yeah, but anyways, this is become my new favorite concealer. I already know it. Like, I'm telling you, I don't know what he did, but he did something to me. He did. And it's crazy. I never thought that I would let go of my shape teeth. And I love, honestly, like, it's like, not even like, okay, so I used to love how thick shape tape is. And this is more like loosey and watery and not gonna lie when i rubbed it on the back of my hand when i was testing it out in the store i was like ah 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 pass me with it but when i got home and i actually used it it works like it works 
the whole watery thingy it like just like lets you like like you know those concealers that you put on and you have to like get to work right away because it'll dry to your face no this gives you that option to take your sweet ass goddamn time I'm gonna chill out with this pissing shit. I'm stop saying the words, name and thing. I'm really, really trying. I gave it up for Lynn. Uh, we're doing good, actually. I actually really am doing good. Better than before. So I'm gonna go in with um, the shade Rose in Jeffree Star's Translucent Powder. And I, like, I'm telling you, I don't know what he has going on back there. Like, a factory full of elves that just know their shit. But he, like, specifically designed this translucent powder to, like, fit perfectly. Perfectly with the concealer. Like, because I tried using, because you know my Laura Mercier powder is my tried and true. I used my Laura Mercier on this does not work this I don't like it I don't like it. I don't like how it feels it, I feel like a cake you know and this just feels like like literally feathers going on my face it, it just like works I love it like this is definitely gonna be my new thing he has like different kind of uh, like shades for the translucent powders um, but I like this rosy color it Perfectly. Something, something about it smells so good. It doesn't necessarily smell like roses, because I know it's like the rose shade, but it smells like something like sugar or something. I don't know. It might just be all in my head. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go in with my KKW um, contour sticks. I'm gonna use this shade. This is, um, I use the Fair Contour Stick, so this is Fair One. I'm just gonna pop this sucker right on my nose. Create some definition. I'm gonna bring it all the way up here so it goes in like for all my shit to connect. Like connect the dot, yes. Okay, and then I'm going in with the lighter side of the stick and I'm going to use light one. Light two is that like yellowy color. I use this for my forehead. So we're gonna go in with the light one. Put this sucker right here. One little line. Voila. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora brush, and this is like one of those brushes we use for creams. Like the numbers have come off. I use and abuse my brushes, so I honestly don't know what number this is, but it's just one of those like cream brushes. I'm gonna dab this into the skin. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend out that white cream. Why isn't it blending out? Oh, hell to the nah! Done. Done with this week, I'm telling you, I've been having like a rough couple days, like nothing's going my way. Okay, let's throw some cream on this. I know that sucker did not just dry up on me. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that translucent powder. Put some of that right on my nose. 
Yay, like I just did a lineup. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Back to the Contour Stick. And so for my forehead, I'm gonna go in with Light One. Wait, yeah, because I used Fair One, so we're gonna go in with Light One. So this is Light One, and this is Fair One. One's just a little more darker than the other. So I'm gonna put this sucker right on my forehead. Okay. I've always been told I have a really big side head, so this kind of just helps create that illusion. But your girl ain't got one. So, yeah, I like to go all out when it comes to contouring my forehead, but I don't want a forehead. So, we're gonna bring this all the way down, all the way up. I don't care what anyone tells me. It's only supposed to be up there in your little widow's thingy. Not me, sis. I, mm -mm. so I don't want a forehead. I used to get bullied a lot, so I'm gonna do everything I can to eliminate that. I'm just gonna blend it. Oh yeah, I'm using my Sigma Round Kabuki F82. One of those cream brushes, I love this. I've been using this brush, not this one in particular, like I have bought a new one since. You're supposed to like rotate your brushes out every several years. Um, but I've been using this for like the past like nine years, eight years, and I'll never like not use this brush. I'll always change. Like I don't like using my, like everyone like even uses like their beauty blender for like blending out their contour, but I will, this is my tried and true. This will be mine forever. So with that same shade, because you put like bare minimal work into it, you know? Like if I would have been using the blue, uh, beauty blender right now, like it would have been. <laughs> and sometimes like with these kind of cream contours, when you use a beauty blender and like, I don't know, I'm not gonna speak for everyone, but for me, like it comes out like blotchy. But when I use this, this just like does it to me. Like it, you see, like it's just perfect. Bare minimal work. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm just blend that sucker out. And I'm gonna go in with light too. It's the banana shade. I'm gonna put this right here. So you can highlight this area and then blend it out into the contour, like to the brown stuff. Where's my... Girl, get your life together. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Sigma Tapered Kabuki, and this is an F86. You can buy like all these like cream brushes from Sigma in a set, and they come in like this pretty like little packaging thingy, like this cup that opens, and then the only brushes sit in there. Like really pretty. Totally look into that. And Sigma's very affordable, and just like Morphe, maybe a little more expensive, but really love their brushes really good quality like really hardly any fallout at all love it you see it just like blends out right away when you use these and so one more time i'm gonna get my beauty blender and get some of that translucent powder and put it right there Yeah, just blotch it right there. And I'm gonna go in with this other beauty blender. It has like this angle, and I like to use this to go in with my translucent powder and sculpt out my contour. And just line it up right there. You don't have to do this, but I like doing it because I like my look to look sharp. Like, I wanna look like Maleficent, you know? Mm -hmm. Now that we have everything sculpted out, so if you know me, everyone knows like I'm so dramatic. Like I want an MG nose, no forehead, Maleficent's cheekbones, you know, 
Um, anyways, now that we have, oh, I used this hairspray yesterday and it's like coming out and it's like giving me like those white flakes. Look at my homegirl has fiojitas. Um, so now we're gonna go in with, where's that brush on? This is the Kat Von D brush, the light shade brush that she like came out with her light shade palette. We're gonna go in with this end to wipe away all our powder. I love this brush. This is another brush I've been using for years. I'm just gonna wipe everything away. And then I'm gonna leave this and this here so it could bake a little longer while we go in with my chart. We're gonna use Jacqueline's My Everything brush, Jacqueline Hill, and get this brush out more for you. I'm gonna go in, dab it, and just go over that cream contour with a little bit of bronzer. This bronzer, by the way, smells so good. Oh, and I can't get my hands like, you know, I can't quite get my finger on what that smell is. But whatever it is, it smells so good. Like almost like, I don't know if it's gingerbread, if it's suntan lotion, I don't know. <laughs> And something it smells really good. Also, the contour down here so everything blends in. We don't want to look like how we did the other day when I had to put on a turtleneck. Girl, oh my god, hell no, because the lighting in here was so bad. I dead ass thought, like, oh, it's just the lighting. I took a step outside, all of this was orange, and this was all white. Girl, that's not the biz. So let's get this. Get those ears. You want your ears being a whole nother color. It's embarrassing. No lie, you want to know something so funny? Like, it's crazy when I first started makeup. Like, this was literally, like, nine years ago. Eight years ago. Um, I'm going to go in with my Morphe M514 brush. This is an eyeshadow brush, like a crease, but I like to use this to put some contour on my nose. Um... So like I was watching like these makeup gurus right on YouTube and they're doing their makeup and they're like using this brush thingy where you like go in and then you do your eyebrow like eyebrow gel essentially and so I was I thought it was mascara so my dumb ass literally got some black ass mascara and I'm combing through my eyebrows and it was Easter, and I go outside, and I know everybody was like, hey, hell nah. <laughs> when nobody told me nothing. No one told me nothing, and I thought I was hot shit. Like, can't nobody say shit to me. Like, I was that bitch, right? And I look back at those pictures, and I'm like, ew, I'm so upset. Like, you guys are not my family. Like, y'all didn't even tell me. Like, dead ass looks like... It, like, it looks like mascara is on my eyebrows. Ugh, I look like a hot mess express, but, like, I didn't know, you know, because I had just started, like, entering into the makeup world and wearing makeup, so I, like, literally thought it was mascara that they were putting on their eyebrows. Ugh, somebody needed to slap me, let me walk out the house like that. Okay, so now we're going to go in and wipe away. Kind of just blend it out. I still do not like this lighting. I'm done messing with it. I'm over it. Okay, we're gonna go in with my NARS Deep Throat blush. My all-time favorite is Matahari, but I recently started using Deep Throat and I am in love. I'm gonna go in with my Jaclyn Hill. Um, what is this in? It's in, the name is called Extra. It's her loose highlighter. I'm in love with these highlighters. So glad I got my hands on them. And I'm gonna go in with, she has a brush for it. Oh yeah, okay. 
Well, not her. Uh, so Jaclyn Hill has like this highlighting brush. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. Dab it in here. I'm gonna bring it up here. I feel like it's being all the way extra. Why not yellow? What did I get see on all? I love it. Like it just gives you like that wet look, like somebody just threw water at my face kind of look. And if you see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're taking it there today. I wanna look like someone threw a bucket of water at me. Oh yeah. Kind of like a J-Lo coming out the beach type of moment. I want to look like I just got out the sauna. I'm going to put some on my nose. Mm -hmm. Right here, too. Ooh. Yep. Hey, Bad Bunny. Thirsty almost forgot like a really important part. Under my eyes, I literally was like, I think I'm done already. Totally forgot. We gotta go back in with the eyeshadow and do under our eyes. And go back with my man. Completely forgot about this. Like, I should have done this before I put concealer on. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Sigma uh, Pencil E30 brush. It's just a pointy tip. I'm gonna go in with that red color, or not that red, heart, that color, but that hard on that we used right here. So we're gonna go in with that sucker and put that right here in the outer corner. I swear my phone stays ringing. <sighs> okay. And then we're gonna go in with my um, Sigma Blending E36 brush, and it's just like a little tiny blending brush. And I'm gonna get that brown color in G Money. Yeah, just go with that darker color and kind of blend it all out. I already tried putting some eyeliner on off camera because that's one thing your sis cannot do. My phone stays going up. Oh, I was all trying to pop. People, ew, that's so gross. I know. Mugshot Nation. <laughs> Okay, so while I was on my phone, my phone call, I went ahead and finished blending out under my eye. I don't know what to do first. Oh, with that darker color. I just blend it all out, added my mascara, my eyeliner. I put um, eyeliner, you know, on my tide line and down here and I only did halfway because I don't want to bring it all the way out here and then it just like closes everything off and your eyes look a little more like heavier and smaller so I just put the eyeliner back here. I hardly ever wear eyeliner unless I'm going like full dramatic drag kind of moment. Um, then I'll like throw some eyeliner on there but again only in the outside. I like to keep this part open over here just so it you know makes you look like you're weak. I think I'm gonna add some more of that orange color though so it could be like a little more vibrant. So I'm gonna go back in with my man because he's my man. And then, um, yeah, just looks a little more brighter. 
I'm really bad. And then I throw in some falsies. Kind of help just like make the look all come together. Make it look dramatic. Um, so yeah, that's the finish I look. Oh yeah, our lips, let's do some lips. Oh my God, isn't Jeffrey Cosmetics? Jeffrey Star Cosmetics is just like the cutest. Like these little thingies are so cute. Reminds me like when I was a little girl and you get like that play makeup. That's what it looks like, like princess makeup. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. I'm gonna put that on. All right, and then we're gonna top off the lip with Jeffree Star's Diamond Juice. Or you can leave it not. I'm gonna be glittery too. I'm gonna be extra. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back in with this. Let me find a little brush. I'm trying to get it right on the dot. See how I feel. There we go, yes. Okay, yeah, so much better. <laughs> awesome, I'm done. I love it. I'm in love with this Jaclyn Hill palette. So beautiful. Anyways, guys, well, thanks for watching. Um, maybe my next video, I'll have more topics to talk about. I just woke up, so like today was like not one of those days where I found to be talking about it. Just want to hurry up and get this makeup done because I actually have a lot of errands I need to go do. Like a lot. And I get the oil change and. <laughs> so, next video. I'll have a lot of tea, a lot of juice to go over. Because you know I love Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.